Folks, how's it going? Arm and Hammer here. The 2021 CrossFit Games Open is 58 days away at this point, which means that it's basically right around the corner. Blink, fall asleep, have a couple of meals, and you're basically there. So what are you supposed to do to get ready for the Open if you're only training a few times a week? Of course, in an ideal world, we would be training a ton. We would have our aerobic capacity workouts that happen four or five times a week, and we'd have our strength session, and we would have our Metcons that are perfectly designed for progression across a period of time to peak us for the open and doing multiple sessions a day with all these different coaches in their war room together, making sure that all of your different individual stimuli are perfectly balanced within this program. But but then in the real world, it turns out that working out is really kind of annoying sometimes. And if you can just get it in a few times a week, it really makes you feel better about yourself, but you still want to do better at the open. So what exactly you're supposed to do those few times a week? I think there's a really reasonable question, but before I answer it, be sure to subscribe to the channel because there's a whole lot of content coming and you're not going to want to miss it. So realistically, you know, training three times a week is just, it's not going to give you the same oomph as training 11 sessions a week with your perfect nutrition and 10 hours of sleep a night. But there are still many things that you can gain by putting together a really solid three day plan each week. And the way that I would break that up is you'd have one day that's kind of like your game day recreation. That's the day that you basically pick an open workout from the past and try and go ham at it the same way you would if it was actually the open. I think that's an important thing to fit into your training, especially going into something like the open, since you're going to get a few weeks, a few workouts, and a few shots to really hit a home run. So you need to practice being able to warm up appropriately, get your heart rate going appropriately, mobilize appropriately so that you can perform your best for that, you know, six to 18 minute long workout that you're going to do in the actual open itself. So that is one session each week, but what do you do with the other two? And the other two, honestly, I am a huge fan of interval work. And that's exactly what I would do in those other two sessions. One of those interval work days would be shorter intervals, which I would say, let's say 30 seconds to maybe three minutes in terms of your short intervals. Then the other day would be longer intervals. And with longer intervals, I would say something like eight minutes to 12 minutes. And I know that there's a gap there. There's the weird gap of what happens between three minutes and eight minutes. The beauty of doing interval work on the shorter end of the spectrum, 30 seconds to three minutes or so, you get in, you know, if you're doing 30 second intervals, you get your reps in and your volume in and it ends up being something like 10 to 15 minutes of work. And that's probably about right, depending on even any of those shorter intervals, your total number of work minutes should be something like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer if you're really feeling froggy, but five three minute intervals, like just think of it in terms of running a very, very fast, like 800 five times. That's a pretty solid workout. You know, we're going to get fitter doing that. I think we're going to get fitter doing that. So think of it that way or rowing an 800 meter five times, like you're going to get fitter doing that for sure. So think of that in terms of getting your you know, interval work with the short intervals up to maybe a total of 15 minutes of work. And that is going to make massive gains for not just those very shorter type workouts, but also the things in like the lower medium range. So the five to 10 minute workouts are going to benefit greatly from having that three minute interval, that two minute interval that you do over and over and over again. The longer intervals, the ones that are eight to 12 minutes long, those are going to be training you to pace the 15, 20 minute workouts. Those are the ones that you're going to learn from in terms of, okay, how am I supposed to break up a workout that has a 20 minute AMRAP and a ton of different transitions? Or how am I supposed to pace a workout that has barbell cycling and bodyweight work and a large volume of double unders over the course of a 20 minute or 15 minute AMRAP? And those eight to 12 minute intervals are going to absolutely prepare you for that. In terms of how to schedule your like work to rest ratios during those workouts, there are a million different ways of doing it. I would say if you're doing your shorter intervals, think of it in terms of 
how much sprinty feeling do you want to get during that interval? If you're doing a 30 second or a one minute interval that's just all out, you're not going to rest 10 seconds and repeat it. You're going to rest like two minutes and repeat it. Makes sense? But if you're going to do a two minute or a three minute interval that's like air squats and burpees and kettlebell swings, all right, you can give yourself maybe a minute of rest or 30 seconds of rest and continue repeating that to train that sort of threshold that you're at. With the longer intervals, you're resting probably half of whatever your work is. So if you're doing an eight minute round, you're gonna rest four minutes. If you're doing a 10 minute round, you're gonna rest five minutes. That's just an easy rule of thumb to use. And while I said that the shorter intervals, you're gonna accumulate maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the top end of total work time, on the longer intervals, you're probably looking at 25 to 35 minutes total work time. So, you know, add in your rest and you're looking at maybe a 45 minute or an hour long session to get in those longer intervals, but it pays off incredibly over time. Remember folks, there is obviously a lot happening. There's so many different ways that you could train for the open. There's so many different things that you can focus on and, and you know put your different energies into. And I'm curious what it is that you're putting your time and effort into. Are you just, just terrible at burpees and so you're doing burpees four, four times a week or something or five times a week just trying to get as much volume in as possible? Or are you focusing on just barbell cycling or are you just still like, you know what, I need to get stronger. What are you putting your time and effort into in preparing for this like new strange world of a three week open going into the quarterfinals? And you know, the programming is obviously gonna look a little bit different. And we did a whole video about which workouts kind of fit into this new equipment list and what doesn't. And you know, uh, there's no way of knowing. There's really no way of knowing. We're not the ones writing the workouts. They always just like get sprung on us and it is what it is. We just have to deal with it. 